Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chris from Fright Fights Podcast, and I'm going to be doing a special video for you all. It's going to be called the 100 Horror Movies Challenge. And what this is going to be about is, uh, for Christmas, my wife bought offline, randomly, a 100 horror movie scratch-off poster. And what it looks to be like an actual poster that just has a bunch of mystery boxes, and you just scratch it off and it reveals a title of a horror movie or a poster of a horror movie. And I'm going to, what I'm going to be doing is... Every time I do one of these videos, I'm going to be scratching off one of the posters, um, and whatever, whatever, whichever one it is, I'm going to review that movie, and I'm going to watch the movie and review it. Um, so let's take a look at this poster, though. So what this is, is it's actually kind of cool. I'm going to put this up on the wall, and whenever I decide to do one of these videos, I'll, I'll, I'll record myself actually scratching these off. So this is what this is, if it hasn't already been scratched by accident. But it's basically... A big poster of like scratch off, like lottery ticket scratch offs. And underneath these is a bunch of different movie posters. So I'm going to randomly choose one of these. I'll scratch it off. And whatever movie it is, um, whatever movie it is, I will watch that movie. And it looks like some of these are already kind of scratched a little bit where I could see them. Um, but I'm going to pay no attention to those. I'm just going to randomly choose one, whatever it is. I'll, I'll scratch it off. I'll watch the movie and do a review for you guys. This will be the 100 horror movie challenge. So give me a second here. I'll be right back and we'll get to scratching one of these off and doing a review. Okay, guys, I am back. I got the poster hanging up on the wall, the 100 horror movies, uh, scratch off poster, as you can tell, um, some of these are revealed already. You can tell they didn't do a very good job at covering up the titles. Um, but I'm going to try to try to avoid looking at them. And the ones you can kind of tell, I'm going to go ahead and try to do those first. Get those out of the way. That way the mystery ones are kind of cool. Um, but I'm going to randomly scratch one of these movies off, give it a watch, and then do a review on it as well. So let's start with the very first one. Uh, I'm just going to choose randomly, and I'm going to choose this one. So... It is Suspiria. All right, guys. Suspiria will be my first choice. And uh, I'll be right back after I watch the film to do a review for you guys. Suspiria. All right, guys. I just got done watching Suspiria and wanted to share my thoughts on this. I still really enjoy this movie. I think it's a pretty decent Argento film. It's not my favorite Argento movie. But it's about this girl who moves into this... Um, like ballerina academy and um she starts experiencing some weird things at the place uh people going missing she wakes up and hears sounds outside of her room she starts she, she thinks she sees things doesn't really know what's going on it's a bunch of these like it's like a cult slash witches slash demons like you don't know really know exactly what it is um it's but it's more of like a witchy cult type thing and um it's there's a lot of colors that are dealt with like Argento uses the color scheme for creating atmosphere in the movie. There's a lot of reds and blues. And then the deaths are like over-the-top violent. Uh, there's one scene in particular um, that has to do with this lady who like falls into this barbed wire pit. And it is like you just see the wires like cutting at the flesh as she's trying to get through. Very, very violent. Um, the opening scene itself. Opening scene is like... This woman who's being hanged, right? She falls through the ceiling and she's hung from the ceiling. But before she falls, like she's being pushed through it. And like you see the glass breaking and the, the shards of glass like cutting the throat and everything until and like blood just pouring out until eventually she just falls through completely and gets and it just hangs there. And it's very violent. The the um the blood is really, really, really red and gory. But Argento does a really good job with this one. Um, the music is done by Goblin, which is like this really hardcore, like, I don't know what kind of music it is, but if it's, it's just Goblin, it's Goblin's music. Really, really cool. Um, it sets the tone. The only thing that I, that I was concerned about is like the, the sub, like the, I, I, I watched the, uh, the dubbed version of it and the dubbing is a little off. So I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's just the way the movie was made or what, but like the, the dubbing was just really weird. Um, I still really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was great. Um, hey, check it out. Dario Argento, Suspiria from 1977. One of the best in, um, you know, Italian films. Um, not my favorite, like I said, but 
definitely looking to check out more. These are just going to be like little short reviews and stuff. I'm going to watch the movie, give a short review on it, and let you know what I think. And I think Suspiria is really cool. So thank you guys for watching, and I will uh, I'll do my next.